I am Jeremy Berby, angel investors in uh, 300 plus startups in uh, many, many countries in the world. Uh, funded uh, 11 companies to date in the internet high tech industry. I came here to, to share my experience about building companies, uh, investing companies, uh, raising money. Uh, I wanted to, to really share all the experience I have with uh, all my hundreds of startups. I want to share with you my experience as both an entrepreneur and an investor. I want to share a little, a little, a little uh, experience about the story. When you're building a startup, the most important thing you have to, 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 to build is the story you, you have to communicate first to your customers and to, to your investors, your partner, etc. A story is really a story. I mean, you need to to, to explain how did you came to, to, to this idea, how did you, why did you build this product, etc., etc. But this idea needs to be very, very big. We need to be sure to understand what what means for us to build a big startups. So a lot of people are, are, bu are building big companies, but at the end they are reaching exactly the same stage as someone with no company at all. First, when, when we are launching a startup, we need to be sure that first, we, we have a big vision. We want to revolutionize something. We're not building a startup because my friends are building a startup. And two, we need to be sure that we are here for a lot of time. So we talk about that a little later. The journey is very long, okay? We have a big problem here in Israel and many, in a few other countries now, is that when you are reading blogs, TechCrunch and all the other ones, you're seeing a lot of exits. But how exits are not real exits, I can share that with you because I know most of the st inside, st inside story of the companies. Most of the exits we are seeing today on TechCrunch are acquired. Uh, failed companies uh, that Yahoo are paying for $1 and giving a, a good salary to the, to the founders, is not, they are not real exits. Most of the real exits, like Bright Roll, uh, bought for 500 million, something like that, last last year. This company was was was, was uh, funded in 2006. Okay, I remember the guy uh, pitching this story at, at this time, etc. So 2006 is eight years, eight years of a lot, a lot of work to reach the exit. And I can tell you because I know two of the of their angels. It wasn't sure at all that it would be able to reach an exit this year. It's just because Yahoo had wanted to, 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 to take them very fastly. But at the end, they were here to stay for another four, five, six years. So it's very important when you have a startup to forget about exits. I know it's a dream. You know, I made already one in 2004 uh, for my first company. Uh, it's a dream, you know, you're taking, you're, you're, you're taking a big check. After that, you can take a little vacation. And after six months, you don't know what to do, so you're building another startup. You need to stay and, 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 uh, uh, long, as long as possible as a company know and not, not try to, to get the exit uh, uh, as soon as possible like many, many, start, many funders. So uh, an average exit is really between five to 10 years. This is an average exit. So, and, and you will see a lot of people, Google, Yahoo, and all the corporate development guys, uh, you have the guys from Samsung, for example, talking with a lot of startups. Every, I think I have perhaps 20 startups to talk with Samsung, and they all think that Samsung will buy them. But at the end, nothing happened. What, wh when you are launching a startup, so we need to find, you need to find an idea between a passion you love and what helps a lot of people. Of people. If you can share, uh, find an idea between something you love and between s something that can help a lot of people. This is typically on what you need to work. When you are, we are thinking about about companies, in the end, most of the people, humans, peop humans are doing exactly the same thing that was done a few centuries ago. And if you are saying all what's happening, all the startups existing, and perhaps a few, you have a few exceptions, but 
all the successful startups, we talk about Waze and all these companies, all these companies are not creating new usages. They are helping people to make something they are already doing better. And this is something that, is, that you need to explain to your customers. It means that you are doing something. I'm not explaining you, uh, explaining you that you need to change your life. You don't need to change your life. I want you to improve your life. So creating new usage is a, is a, big, is a, big, is a big error, I, what, I, what I think. I'm saying that in, 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 uh, uh, when we are receiving a deal flow, my, my deal flow is something like between 30 to 40 startups a day coming to me and, and asking for an investment. Uh, and, and I can tell you, most of the new, excuse me, um, most of the new, uh, most of the successful companies are companies not creating anything. They are just improving something. Uh, as I've said, when you are talking with your customers, you need to talk about benefits and not features. When you are talking with a customer, you need to explain what the benefits for him. And this is completely different of 95% of the startups, when you are going on their website, they're saying our features. But they don't care about features. They want you to explain them what they will how their life will be better with your company. So this is a, a, a sentence from Thomas Edison I love a lot. Uh, I, find out, I find out what the world needs, then I proceed to invent. Uh, this is something, you know, I took a lot of time to, to, to discover that kind of way of thinking. It's really to see what people need before to, 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 to invent something. Uh, as you know, execution is key. ID is 5% and perhaps 1%. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of IDs. I think you have a lot of Israelis are, are afraid to talk about their IDs and a lot of, about their company to people in Europe, for example. You can imagine, I'm sorry for Orange, but you can imagine how slow our company in Europe, our company in Europe, slow. You, you, so, so it means that you can have the best ID. It can be something that, uh, it can be a no-brainer. So everyone will say, okay, we need to do that. You don't have to be afraid at all. It will take years for anyone to build a team, to build a new, a new uh, a, a team, a technology, etc. on the same thing. So you don't have to be afraid. You know, I'm fighting, fighting with my founders in Israel. I have 30 companies in Israel. Fighting with them because what they want to do when they want to talk with a potential partner, they want to sign an NDA. First, an NDA means nothing. I don't know one story when an NDA saves a situation, never. And two, the people are talking with you not to steal any ID. They want to work with you. They want to understand with you. So sometimes you will see companies trying to, to take a few IDs from a lot of startups and building something, you know? It can, it's, it's a study like that, but for me, it's, you are never to be afraid. Execution is key, so don't be afraid. Don't check competitions all the time. You don't care about competition. Competitions are com perhaps completely false. Perhaps they are going in a very bad direction, but they are com communicating very well. So you think that, wow, it's working for them. They have hundreds of thousands of customers. And, but hundreds of thousands of customers is perhaps an AdWords campaign when people just see their landing page. So you need to be very careful about competitions, shaking. So think only about your vision. Think only about benefits you are bringing to your customers and check that your customers are very happy. <clears throat> As I say, you need to make, to make an awesome product. Um, I think that I made a mistake when, when I, I built my first startups. When I built a first version of the product, uh, I, I began to run and see, OK, I need a partner here. I need someone to bring me traffic from here, from here, from here. And, but at the end, people who love your products are your ambassador, really. So you don't have to, to spend a lot, a lot of time outside your room making your very, very good product. You don't have to spend a lot of time making business development, trying to, to make partnership with anyone, etc. Make an awesome product, and all awesome products are very, very easy to communicate. Really, you need to spend a lot, a lot of time on your product. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. You know, after a few months, you would say, OK, I saw this thing, this interface all the time. I hate this color. You will hate your product one day. You will hate him. Because really, you're spending too much time with it. 
So, so at the end, you have no choice. Your product is what you need to do. And I can tell you a, a little secret. Or, or you can love your product. Invite to your office, invite 10 people who don't know your product. And, and potential targets. Put them near your product once at a time and show them your product. You will see how they will love it. How they will be impressed. And after that, after this meeting, you say, wow, I have something good in my hand. This is something important because uh, you need to think about potential business model with potential very big and fast growth. You know, we invested in some startups who made the first month $500 of revenues, the second month 800 after the third month uh, 1.5, 2,000, 2,005. 3,000. And they're sending me a report every month saying, wow, plus 20% plus of growth. And they are very happy. They are very satisfied, saying, OK, we, we have something. We have a company. What I'm saying all the time, they hate that. I'm saying the pizzeria in your, in your area is making more revenue than your startups. And you raise 100, 200, 500K to, to reach it, that kind of very small revenues. So you need to think about a model when you have a real very fast growth. It means that you need is not one, two, three, four, five. It is one, five, 10, 20, 50, 100. So when you are, you are building a model, you need to think about a model when you will really be able to see a very big growth. And when you are working in a B2B space, for example, it's very difficult to talk because you are Companies in many, many different space, but uh, when you are talking, in a, when you are working in a B two B space, for example, what is very important is what to be your cost to acquire a customer. I'm not talking about adwords. I'm talking about the cost of calling him, convincing him, making a POC, etc., uh, etc. Et and sometimes you will see, yeah, I have a lot. My my potential customers. You, I have hundreds of thousands and ten of thousands potential customers, but each one. It will take you six months, eight months to, 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 to convince him. And you have, a, you have a free people in your team. And you can talk with a lot of people like that. So you need to be very, very careful about how the business model we can build that will be very, very difficult to grow. And it's not because you have money in bank, because you're surviving, because your company is open, because you are, you are paying taxes, I don't know. It's not because of that that you have a good company. So a good company is something is a company with a very very big and fast growth. <clears throat> I'm talking about the team. You already have a team, but uh, let me talk about my experience. The main cause of failure for startups is the war between co-founders. I can tell you, it's a nightmare. So every day, every I think three times a week. I'm managing a co-founder's fight and uh, in one of our companies. So very important for you to define the role of each one. The co-founder agreement, I mean, that defined not around a cup of coffee. You're writing what each founder needs to do. Begin by a test period if this is uh, if, if it's possible. And, uh, and after that, I'm talking about the team also, is don't hire robots. It's very difficult to say that in Israel. We not say you have a certain type of population here in Israel, developers, who are very good developers. But for me, I'm calling them robots. It means that they are doing exactly what you want. But at the end, they are not sharing your vision and sharing your experience. So it means that if you are not build, writing good specs, they will not build, build a good product. All your team, all your developers need to be part of your, need to think like founders. I mean that they want you to build, they, they need to think and help you to build the best product. When your company will be successful, you need, yes, you will see a lot of competitions. And here, you need to prepare in advance what you be your entry buyer to not let anyone coming with a lot of money, because it's very easy to raise a lot of money today. You have someone coming from Accenture, you are going to a VC, you're saying, OK, I want to replicate this model. People, they can raise money very easily. So you need to think from day one, what can I build to never be 
so that they never be able to reach me, to reach exactly the same stage that what I am. Also, if they have a lot of money. So it can be a technology, it can be a user base, it can be, uh, um, you know, uh, for example, if you need a lot of customer support for some services, if you have a very good customer support, it can be an entry barrier, but not sure. OK, you need, for each of your company, you need to think about that. Because really, uh, competition is not important at the beginning. Because you, when you are not very successful, anyone will copy you also if you have a very good idea. But when you will be big, you will see a lot of clones. Something important, why you need to bootstrap? Uh, it's not because uh, uh, you need to do things slowly at all. You need to do things fastly. But at the end, it's taking a lot, a lot of time to find the right product fit. It's taking a lot of time. You know, I'm saying a lot of our companies, you know, we, we're investing at this stage sometime before the company is, is really finding the real product fit. And, uh, and sometimes it can take one year and two years because the company know exactly what to sell to customers, at which price, how to sell it, etc. If you are burning all your money, if you are spending your all, uh, your all uh, personal account on, 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 on your company uh, in, in five months, you will never succeed. It's impossible. Most of the, most of the startups I know uh, are finding their model and their product fit after one year, one year, one year and a half minimum. So don't take paid office like a lot of people are doing, uh, buying a lot of good big sofas like here. Uh, so you have, you have places like that, you know, WeWork also. I don't know if you know that WeWork are opening uh, in Tel Aviv and in Herzliya. Uh, Co-working space are very good. Uh, be a coder yourself. Don't say, OK, I have an ID. I will hire uh, coders to, 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 to make this one. It will cost you too much money. The day you will not have enough money to pay the coder, they will leave your company the, from the same day. Uh, so or be a coder yourself, or you can also have a, a co-founder coder. Okay? But at the end, for me, you have no choice. We are not investing today in a company with no, with no coders in the founding team. Uh, and if you have, you're not an engineer, uh, you can use you know, a website like Odesk to hire freelancers for difficult tasks, but only for difficult things, OK? So I need to build, to be, uh, to, to build a, a very complicated algorithm uh, to make this and this and this. Here, you need to hire someone. But most of the thing, you need to do that alone. So avoid employing people. Employing people is costing a lot, a lot of money. Is, is removing a lot, a lot of time uh, from, from your day, I mean that you have to manage a team. You have to manage people. They will talk with you about uh, uh, your, their next vacations, about uh, their salary, about a lot of things. I can tell you, we built, the best company we built were the very, very small teams at the beginning. And we expanded the team, I mean only co-founders. And we expanded the team when we had customers. It was only because we had a lot of customers. Uh, build an MVP, minimum viable product. Uh, as you know, I'm sure you heard about of that. Your challenge is not to add features, it's to remove features. This is something very important. You're removing all the features you can. Adding things around are not helping your company. Most of the good of good services, it was from Twitter, Facebook, and uh, in, uh, in uh, B2C, but also SaaS platform, most of services are working because only one or two main features they have inside. So it's very, it's very important to think about that every day. I say, what kind of features I can remove from my roadmap today, and not what kind of idea I can add. Uh, and I think it can, it can help a lot. Uh, OK, all productivity tools are not free. Uh, it wasn't the case when we founded our companies in 99. Uh, we needed to buy a uh, SQL server, uh, a lot of Windows, Office, etc. No, everything is, 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 is free, so you just need a computer. And something very important is that today, most of the companies have what, what is going a startup program. A startup program is something they are giving for free a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, of money to, to startups to use their service. For example, so. SVB is a Silicon Valley bank. I don't know if you know them. 
Silicon Valley Bank is uh, in Israel. If you want to open an account in the US, you can open an account for free. You will not pay one cent of commission, uh, of commission uh, for one year. And uh, you have an account at the same bank that Google, OK? Silicon Valley Bank. Zendesk, managing customer support. They are giving you one year for free. Amazon, they are giving you uh, 50K dollars of hosting for free. Google, 100K. Rackspace, 30K, et cetera, et cetera. You have, so at the end, with all, all these, these startups programs, you can, you can build a real big company uh, with no money. Don't raise money too early. It's very important. I know that you need uh, to feed your children, uh, but raising money means that you need to go in one direction. Investors love founders pivoting. Uh, I mean, experienced investors, but most of the investors hate that. Why investing in, in this? No, but it's better. If you are failing, it will be very complicated to explain them why no, they need to put a, 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 a little more money in your company because you haven't really checked all the, all, all the things. So build your MVP. Don't raise money at the beginning. Launch your product with potential customers and measure, measure it uh, with your three main KPI, KPIs every day. I mean that you need to check at least retention. So you know, all know what is retention. Yes, everyone? OK. Retention, why retention is the most important thing? Because you know if your product is good, if people are coming back. It's easy. But you can, I can tell you that I'm receiving reports from hundreds of startups every, every week, every month. Uh, they are not checking their retention. Retention is really how many times someone is coming back to your website uh, in a year, in a month, in a week, in a day. Okay? Uh, I can tell you in the B2C space, for example, a good ratio to raise a big round in the Silicon Valley today is 30% DAU on MAU. I mean that you need to have 30% of your monthly users need to come back every day. I don't know if you imagine, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's very complicated. You need to explain, most of uh, investors and, and everyone in your, in, your, in, your, in your company can say, OK, I found how to bring more customers to my platforms. OK, you're bringing 10,000 customers or potential customers to your, to your platform. If they are not coming back after a few days, you, you lose completely. If you, if you are making money from the first uh, visit, most of the time it's not the case. OK, that's something else. But if, if it's not the case, the, the, you, you need to see them coming back. So retention is, is a key thing you need to check every day. And, uh, and you need to, to check your, your free KPIs every day. You need to send that to all your team. And don't forget to send that to all your team. If you already have seed investors, I recommend you to send that to your seed investors. Also, if the, pro if the, if the KPIs are not good, because investors are very happy to see that you are checking the right things. Because in a startup, working on the right things is the most, impo is the most important thing. I mean that you can do a lot of things, as I've said at the beginning. You know, you can make business development, talk with investors, to go to a conference, be a speaker there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the end, you only have one or two free, or three things to do. I mean that okay, you need to find customers, people using your product. You need to make your platform scalable and able to 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 reach you know the, 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 a, lot, a lot more of customers, and uh, and you need to make your customers satisfied. And most of people are not, are not working on the right things. But here, if you need really to buy, to, to build a big algorithm to launch a very big company, and you, you, you have no, no choice, you need to raise a lot of money at the beginning. How to do that? First, you need to build an awesome co-founding team and a top advisory board, a real one. You need to say what will be, what are the, max, the main experts on this planet around my, my team. And you need to bring them and, 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 uh, and show to your future investors that, you, that these people are involved. You need to show your experience and expertise in the current field. If you want to, to, to launch a startup in the cyber space, 
you need to be to show that you are an expert, an expert in that, and not you're launching this thing because you read something on Wired. Uh, so it's very important to show your expertise, and you need to raise at this time enough money to launch your product on this on the market, because. Most people think that you can raise money every year, every six months, every eight months, but it's not the case. Each round needs to be done at a different stage of the company. So you need to be completely different between your C stage and your Series A, between your Series A and your Series B. Completely different means that at the beginning, you are two, on the, two founders working from your Martef, your, your, your home. Uh, with, no pro with a little product, with a few customers. After that, you have really customers, you have a customer service, et cetera, et cetera. And it's very important, for example, for a company building a big technology to raise enough money to launch a product. And most of the time, unfortunately, it's not happening. Com company, the companies are not raising enough money to, to launch a product on, its, on the market. And you have, you have hundreds of companies here in Israel who raise money already who have a non-launch a non product and were not able to raise a new round because seed investors are saying, OK, you told me that you needed to, to launch your product. And new investors are saying, OK, launch your product. I will see. They're in the middle. It's, 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 it's a nightmare. You need to build a team who already build hardware. It's very imp important. A lot of, of Internet of Things companies are made by startup guys who, are not, who have no clue about what is to produce uh, 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 an hardware. They think that they just need to send the order to China and they will receive package. Uh, find potential customers and channels ready to pre-order. We have a company in hardware space. They already have for 15 million of dollars of, of pre-orders. The product is not launched. The product wasn't on Kickstarter. They took, they took their product they show, them, they show the product to potential channels and distributors and partners, etc. And they sold it. You need to sell. You need to sell. This is the most important thing. You are, some people, a lot of people are, are spending too much time raising money, trying to raise money, talking with investors. But really, if your product is good, the money will come from your customers. So let's talk about raising money. So when do I need to raise money? When you found that you're answering a real need with a real product, and you resolve your retention problem, as I've said. You need to raise money when you, you want to push the accelerator in one direction. When you are raising money, it's not to test things. Okay, You're not a lab. You're raising money to say, OK, we know that we need to, to go there, but I want to go faster. When do I need to not raise money? When you're still? Checking, 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 iterating. When you still don't know what, you, what will look like your company in one year. So what, what, I, what I, for example, this week, I asked one of, our, of my companies, I asked them to make their home page of 2016. I say, you don't have to develop your features. You just need to, to, to take a template and feel how we look like your company in one in, in a little more than one year. With that, people will be able, you will, will be able to see if really the startups know where the, the company is going, or the founders know where the company is going, or if really they are still, you know, trying to find the right the right things. And when you are trying all the time to do something else, most of the time, first you're losing a lot of time. To you, you're not sure at all that you are building the, 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 the right thing. You are working on the right thing, as I've said. With that, you're able, after that, to say to your team, OK, I know exactly what will be my company in one year. Wow, this is the home page. It will be awesome. You already know that it will be awesome. You can show that to potential customers. But, and here, you can take your decisions and define your priorities based on your goal and not based on what you need to do next week. Can, can share it with you, it's working very well. Uh, don't raise money when you have no very satisfied customers. Don't raise money when you need to raise because you need a salary. If it's that, it's better to, to take a job uh, and wait. 
First thing I'm checking is how nice is your deck I'm receiving. The PowerPoint presentation I'm receiving. Okay? I want to see how good are founders to explain their vision, to define priorities, and to, to, to also explain why they need money. A deck is very, very important. I can, rec I can give you a few tips. First, uh, you have uh, an Envato marketplace. I don't know if you know Envato. It's a template marketplace. You can buy templates of keynote and PowerPoint presentations. Very nice looking templates. The second thing I'm checking is how big and clear is your vision? Where you are going? What do you want to build? Are you answering to a real need? I mean that potential customers and users are waiting for you, or you have to convince them to use your product. It's very important. You know, sometimes you can, you, 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 we are coming with an awesome ID, and uh, we think that all customers would be very happy. You know, yeah, 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 I know you need this. But if co the customers are not spending their weeks and months thinking about, you know, I need to solve this problem. I have one problem, and this is the problem I need to solve. If the, the customer are not thinking about your pro, your pro, you, this need before you are coming to them, it will be a lot, a lot, a lot more difficult to sell them. Do you know how to promote and sell your product? So sometimes you have the problem of chicken and eggs, means that uh, you need to have, uh, for example, if you're building a marketplace, you need to have users, on both sides. So how do you plan to begin to launch this? Uh, and how much money you need to, 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 promote, to promote this service? Promoting and spending money on promotion means nothing. It is not working most of the time. So you need to be sure that you, you know how to promote it, at which cost, what would be the acquisition cost, what would be your, 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 your retention, et cetera. And after that, you can build a model saying, OK, it seems that it can work. So we are checking that. How innovative is the technology? So is, I'm not doing that for, for everyone, but for every company. But uh, more innovative is the technology. And more technical are, for, are the founders, more we are investing in them. Very important thing, did I find the right and best team to make this company big? Because you know, I saw, unfortunately, I saw a lot of very good ideas, very nice products, but the founders were, were unable to make, to, 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 to make the company big. You know, they, they wanted to, to make a little small things. You know, we have founders today, as I've said, very happy to tell us that they are making $1,000 a month. Very happy. This is, you know, we have a very big success. So we need to find the team that can say, OK, we are not talking about thousands. We are not talking about 10 of thousands. We are talking about 100K. And our goal is to reach to make millions. So, so we are checking the team. This is, for us as an angel, the most important thing is how many months of runway the company will have with the current investment. When you are raising a round, you can raise a new round six months after. It's very difficult. Or you, you, you can raise, uh, when you need money, you can raise money. You need to reach another stage. So what we are checking is that how many months you will have now to make your, your thing happen. And what will be your status after these 12 or 18 months? And the status, as I've said, need to be completely different. If you're still the same company trying to find the model, or talking with the five customers, or sending to your investor, this is our pipeline, 50 names. You know, the pipeline is a standard thing that uh, startups are sending to their, to their investors. Nothing is happening. They don't know how to close any deals. You need to be in a different status after all these months. So if really we know that with this money you are reaching something else, and you, you will not be the same company, because you know where to go, you, you already check a, 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 a small things, you know how to promote your product, etc. So at this time, we can, we can invest. And last thing is, how do you plan to use the money raised? Salaries, 
grid so fast, big office, hiring an expensive sales guy, a lot of travel. If you are, I'm an angel investor, so investing at early stage. It's very important for me to see that the money will not be spent. It's something not crucial. Something. Don't lie to your investors before or after a round. Never, never, never. Don't lie. Don't bullshit. Because, you know, for example, in my last companies, a few, many of my investors didn't make money. Many of my investors made money. But my best friends today are in the investor who never made money with me. I mean that they lose their, their, their money. And why we're still very good friends is that I never lied. I was al always transparent. They already they always shown that we were working on the right things, as I've said. And I, now today, I want to raise a new round for anything. I have investors saying, OK, what do you need, Jeremy? So it's very important for you to say that it's not because it's not uh, uh, like you know a customer. I made it. I made. I, I raised 200k. Wow, that's good. You 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 you. It's not first. This money is not for you. It's for your company, and you will burn. You will burn this money very fast. Uh, and and to these investors, if they are saying if they are showing that you lied, they will never be able to be your investors. And because this this world is a very small world, so perhaps you will never be able to raise again. So be very careful. So you have two, uh, she taught say in Hebrew, uh, in Hebrew, but uh, you have two well thinking in an uh, investor and a startup community. Some, some investors and founders are saying, no, you know, my investors, they gave me my money. I'm sending them a report every six months. It's enough. And for sometimes every year, it's enough. And, uh, and they will not read it. So why do we need me to send? And why do you want me to disclose confidential information, etc.? You need know, to be very careful that investors, what they are spending their days meeting a lot of people. A lot of people. Founders, but other VCs, big companies, Google, Amazon, IBM, Microsoft, all the biggest companies are talking with us all the time. They are sending us gifts, etc. You know, they want they want they want us to bring them good companies. If an investor is aware of what is happening in your company, he will be your best ambassador. It's like an employee for free. So we, for me, you have no, you, you, and two, the second thing is, first, it will be your ambassador. And two, you can be your free, your free advisor. And three, because you will never lie, as I've said, to your investor, you can share your problems. So use your investors, uh, ambassadors, uh, people who can give you good advice, etc. And don't be afraid about sharing bad news. Really, you can say, no, I don't want to share bad news because they, don't, they will not want to reinvest after that. But you need to be, to, be, to be sure that when they will want to reinvest one day, they will need to recheck everything from your company. And you, and you, you can't lie. You can't say, yeah, yeah, everything is working. <coughs> That's all. Good luck.